There's a new form of designer drug causing increasing concern among authorities. They're called bath salts, but frankly, they are actually a dangerous stimulant, something closer to cocaine or meth. They're believed to have caused at least four deaths in the U.S. And joining us now with more is medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashen. These have nothing to do with taking a relaxing bath with, say, some salts from the Dead Sea. Correct, and the name sounds harmless. In reality, Erica, they are anything but harmless. These basically contain a designer or synthetic drug known as mephedrone or MDPV. It's an amphetamine. They're marketed as bath salts, and you can find them readily either online or in stores under names like Zoom 2 or Aura. Mm -hmm. Our producer found them very easily in New York City, and when she went in to ask for them, she was told, wow, they're flying off the shelf. It's a good thing you're getting these. And one of our researchers also was told, hey, these are going to get you really high, which is very very scary. What exactly do they do? So an amphetamine is a central nervous system stimulant, so it'll increase your blood pressure, increase your heart rate, can cause anything from chest pain, heart attack, stroke. Those are just the physical symptoms. Wow. Psychologically, they can cause delusions, paranoia, psychosis. They're highly addictive, very dangerous. And we're just starting to hear about them, as we mentioned. There have been, though, four deaths at this point, and they're actually growing at an alarming rate. Exactly, and they've been reported to the uh, poison control centers by 33 states, Erica. Part of the reason why this has gone kind of undetected and under the radar up until now is because they're relatively new. And if you look at the numbers, in 2009, there were no reported cases to poison control centers in this country. 2010, that number jumped to 236. In just this year alone, we've already surpassed that. We're at 248 reported exposures. And, and remember, this is just what's reported. And that's only in one month exactly. of this year, which, which really goes to illustrate the increased concern here. So if we're hearing all of this anecdotally, uh, you know, how are these still out there? Why isn't there some more control, I should say, over this substance? Well, I, I guarantee you there will be. In fact, the DEA has already labeled these drugs a drug of concern, and there is legislation occurring right now to make them controlled substances. Again, these things take time. You just see over that time period, it's relatively recent. Two years is 24 months, and for the DEA to start to investigate a drug, they first need to hear reported cases, mm -hmm. then they need to get their science scientific medical communities as well as legal ducks in a row, if you will, and that takes time, but this is by no mistake, dangerous substance, and we probably will be hearing. And a definitely lot more something about to keep it. your eye an eye on. Is this something that parents, especially, need to be concerned about? I think anyone needs to be concerned about it. And again, this is just one in a growing list of substances that are readily available, either online or in stores, just because they may come from either, in this case, synthetic substances, or in other cases, natural substances, does not mean they are safe. They are potentially life-threatening. Yeah, and the, the symptoms that you lay out there are very scary. Not to play around with. Jen, thanks.